God for everything that God is doing at this moment and continues yeah. to do. I want to thank you for inviting me to speak. Uh, it's just really every opportunity that we get that He be glorified in every way. Yeah. Well, we all were singing hallelujah. We'll sing in the, in the county jail because we have a choir down there. There's a <laughs> county choir. Praise God. And they've been singing there for these past couple of Sundays hallelujah. A cappella. And it's beautiful. I was like, okay, we're going to sing now. I was like, hallelujah, hallelujah. And just, you just feel the Spirit flow. And thank you, Jesus. You know, it is just so awesome what God is doing. And I told the men at the jail, see, the beautiful thing about it, which was last Sunday, is that the story doesn't end right there at the cross. Many have stopped the story there. Oh, yes, he was crucified. And because we know of resurrection power. That God is moving in such a way every day. Amen. In every situation that we are going through. In our lives, in this home, in the nation, within the church, and everywhere. Let us pray. I feel the Spirit to know the Spirit to grow. Almighty God, have your way in the Holy Spirit. Lord, bring forth your word, your message. Touch the lives of those that are listening, those that are watching this right now. Whatever they're struggling with, Lord, you've come to set the captives free. Yes. Breathe on us, Holy Spirit, this day and the days ahead. We give you the glory and honor for everything because you are the same yesterday, today, and forever. Amen. 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 Christ God. There's some things that are going to start to happen and then continue to happen all the time. That He be glorified. Amen. Because there are some things that have become stagnant individually and corporately in a lot of areas. As we go through different environments or even our families or, or ministries or whatever, some of them, that's the purpose of the enemy. That things would become stagnant, that nothing is producing, that there would be no flow of spirit. Mm -hmm. And even some areas that the Lord has shown me, where areas of ministry or, or groups are still in the milk of the word, and several years later, still the milk of the word, and not moving into the meat of the word. And most of all, I've been. Willing and not a willingness to be empowered by the Spirit of the living God. If there is no rich emphasis on the Holy Spirit, how can be? How can there be liberty? Mm -hmm. Because where the Spirit of God is, there's liberty. Yes. He comes to set the captives free. Amen. And when we're in, and I was working on this message, the Lord help me. What is your message? And I said. The title was, and now they shall know the power of the living God. Amen. Because some areas have come to a screeching halt. Yeah. Yeah. Some people are in bondage. Yeah. We've got a generation out there that has been living 
are not living. Yeah. I've got a lot of them in my family. And we know we're friends, we know people from here to Alpine and over this nation, that's all I believe, mm -hmm. but want the best of both worlds. Mm -hmm. And it's not going to work because he is a holy God. Yes. He yes. is a living God. Yes. And if we allow and welcome the Holy Spirit like this song this morning, welcome the Holy Spirit individually and corporately, day in and day out, and whatever they've got to say about us, that's all right. Yes, that's right. Because we are allowing ourselves to move from the ordinary to the extraordinary. Yeah. Yeah. And from the natural to the supernatural. We're moving from style. See, because there's a lot of areas of style mm -hmm. that are out there. Oh, wow, it's the way they're put together. But there's something more than style, substance. And the Word and the Spirit brings substance yes. for such a time as this. And so it's really, really awesome what God is doing. A lot of you will be sure might be doing mechanic work and doing, uh, or some of you that like to cook or this or that. We know sometimes things get kind of messy. There's parts oh, here, yeah. there's that. We've got all this oil in our hands and that. And you know, somebody I'll see them going into kitchens and some of the women are cooking and they've got all these recipes and they've got all this stuff. Just get out the way. <laughs> Things are going to happen and sometimes they're going to get messy okay. because there's a deliverance coming. He comes to heal and to restore. Yeah. And what God is saying that this has got to go and this has got to go because He's a holy God. Yes. We just praise Him for everything. Because we, you know, as the word says that the harvest is ready, but the laborers are few. That's why we got to stay engaged uh -huh. in all this. Yeah. You know, I, it's just really, really awesome. I visited with people, I visited with family, and they're still with that certain mindset, and like, well, I'll just believe. And, you know, like we got to believe and live for Him yes. every day. Yes. yes. The religious opinion probably says it's Sunday and the whole world is yours. Well, that's not the case. Because where the Spirit of God is, there's liberty. Where the Spirit of, where the Spirit of God is moving, He gives us discernment. Yeah. And He gives us conviction. And He just continues to, to that we bring that we be, bring honor and glory to Him in our talking, in our way of speaking, in our way of living every day. Yes. And I tell you, I tell you, there's a, a battle out there, and the battle is the Lord's, so and we got to just stay engaged every day. In the book of Revelation, chapter 3, praise God. And this is what he's saying, whether individually and corporately, to this generation out there. Revelation, chapter 3, and verse 1, praise God. And he says, And unto the angel of the church in Sardis, Right. This thing saith he that hath the seven spirits of God and the seven stars. I know thy works, that thou hast a name, that thou livest and art dead. Mm -hmm. Be watchful and strengthen the things which remain, that are ready to die. For I have not found thy works perfect before God. Remember therefore how thou hast received and heard and hold fast and repent. He therefore thou shalt not watch, I will come on thee as a thief, and thou shalt not know what hour I will come upon thee. Thou hast a few names even in Sardis, which have not defiled their garments, and they shall walk with me in white, for they are worthy. He that overcometh the same shall be clothed in white raiment. I will not blot out his name out of the book of life, but I will confess his name before my Father and before his angels. One of the things that has happened is that tradition would like to continue to keep things stagnant. And I keep brought it into situations, into experiences, into, you know, even family or friends. And that, that tradition, that things that they believe, or that membership, or that certain belief, and that's it. But really there is no life in the Spirit. Because there has been no submission yeah. to God. Because even the devil believes. But he's not going to live for it. Right. 
Now these are already times that are very, very serious. This is a, a these are exciting times, yes. but they're very serious as yes. well. Yes. We've got a dying generation out there that needs to be set free by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We got a generation out there that wants the best of both worlds right now. Oh yeah. And it's not gonna work before God. That's right. It never will. Right. We just praise him. Remember it says right here that thou livest and art dead. Because there's those situations that lead to life or the spirit. Yeah. That resurrection power. Everything that is that just come to a screeching halt individually and corporately. God needs to do that. Tear it down, that's building up and yes. bringing that life in the spirit in us. We just give him the glory of God and the honor of the book of Ezekiel, chapter 37. God is so awesome. I saw those areas even in my life years back that, you know, God said, you know, just more than believing. It's just more than a denominational setting. I, I just getting comfortable in my ways and then heading out the door and trying everything else. That wasn't going to work. No. I needed a testimony in Him. I, bring, I needed to bring honor and glory to Him. And to those that are watching this, if you've gotten comfortable with the, with the milk of the Word for years and more years, it is time to move on into the meat of the Word. It is time to move on from the natural to the supernatural, to allow the Spirit to move in such a way. It says right here in the book of Ezekiel, chapter 37, and God is moving in such a way every day. Yes. You know, this is, I love this message because it ministers to our lives so much. Chapter 37 and verse 1. And the Word of God says, And He said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? Oh, yeah. And I answer, Oh, Lord God, thou knowest. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. It's all right to say hallelujah. It's yeah. all right to allow the spirit to move. Hallelujah. You know, we got a generation out there that you say hallelujah and everybody's still looking at you like, whoa. Oh, <laughs> I got into you. I got into you. Oh, you know, says, Jesus, and he God. said unto me once again, Son of man, can yeah. these bones live? Yeah. And I answered, Oh Lord yeah. God, thou knowest. Yeah. So those situations in our families, those situations in churches, yeah. and even in governments. That seem hopeless. Uh, yes, there is hope through the power of the living God, yes. through the Spirit of the living God. Amen. Because then again he said unto me, prophesy upon these bones, and say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus saith the Lord God unto these bones, Behold, I will cause breath yes. to enter into you, and you shall live. Amen. That is really, really awesome because you know what breath, the trans Hebrew translation is Ruach, the Spirit. I will cause Spirit to enter into you. Yes. I will cause that wind to enter into you. Because things can go into the body down mode all of a sudden. And that's what the enemy wishes everything could go into. La di da, ke sera, sera, and that's it, nothing else. And, and back to score one. And it says right here, Thus saith the Lord God, verse 3, Unto these bones, behold, I will cause breath yeah. to enter into you, and you shall live, and I will lay the news upon you, and will bring up flesh upon you, and cover you with skin, and put breath in you, and you shall live, and you shall know that I am the Lord. So I prophesied, verse 7, and I was I was, I was commanded as I prophesied there was a noise mm -hmm. and behold a shaking yes. and the bones came together yes. bone to his bone and when I beheld lo the sinews and in flesh came upon them and the skin covered them above but there was no breath in them mm. it says verse 9 then he said unto me, prophesy unto the wind, yeah. prophesy, son of man, and say to the wind, thus saith the Lord God, come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon this slain, that they may live. Yes. Verse 10, so I prophesied as he commanded, and the breath came into them, and they lived, and they stood up upon their feet. An exceeding great army. Yeah. And that is an army that we need right now yeah. Yeah. to go against 
against the giants oh, to go against the tactics of the enemy. That's right. Because in the light in our mode, if, it's, if everything else is not going to produce, it's, it's impossible to move yeah. without the rich emphasis of the Holy Spirit, right, right. of a life in the Spirit. Yeah. Because the Spirit will bring conviction. Yes, the Spirit will teach us. Yes. The, the Spirit will bring life to the Word in our lives. Hallelujah. Every day. Thank you. Remember the, the beautiful thing about it? It is an everyday process. Yes. It's beautiful. Just like I continue to tell them. And it didn't, the story didn't end at the cross. It goes on and on and on with resurrection power. Yes. Hallelujah. And I just, and I love these verses say, so I prophesy as he commanded me. Yes. How many of us are willing to listen, those that are watching, as he commanded yes. me. Yes. And the breath came into them, and they lived and stood up upon their feet, yes. an exceeding great, great army. Hallelujah. Amen. There's people that are called, there's people that have got different callings, the different giftings of the Holy Spirit, even those that are watching, but you've allowed yourself to go stagnant. You've allowed yourself to just stay in the milk of the Word forever. Ah. God wants us to move as the Spirit leads yeah. into the maid of the Word. He wants us to be free. He wants us to prophesy and to deliver and to heal in His name. Yes. Not to fall into this religious agenda that is out there. Because it is out there. Just to keep everybody in bondage. But where the Spirit of God is, there's liberty. Yes. He is calling forth an exceeding great army right now. Amen. To rise above. To engage in warfare. Yes. To declare and decree the word of God in our families, in our brothers, in our sisters, in our friends. To stand. To above all Amen. is to stand. Hallelujah. And deliver the word no matter what they say. The mighty name of Jesus, that exceeding and great army is for such a time as this. Amen. Because we got this generation, not just that are dying by this opioid crisis or whatever drug is out there, this math crisis, but there is a deadness, most of all. Mm. There is a spiritual deadness that is out there right now. Where people have gotten complacent in their own theology, complacent in just believing, complacent when there's a calling in their lives to go forth and declare and decree, to go forth and prophesy. But the enemy would want to keep us suppressed, want to keep us in bondage. But hallelujah, that he is moving in such a way, hallelujah, I refuse to get comfortable. We just got to refuse to get comfortable. That's right. We got to continue to stay engaged in the Spirit needs, to pray and to fast and allow to the Spirit to, to move in a beautiful way, in a powerful way. Hallelujah. And yes, it's going to get a little messy out there. Oh, yeah. Yes, there's going to be all that kitchen with everything else, all the recipes and everything upside down, but it's going to produce something so good, yeah, so hallelujah. awesome. <laughs> There's going to be those situations because yeah. there's a deliverance coming. Because there are certain people that are bound. There are certain people that are in bondage that need to be delivered. Yes, they do. Even within churches, even within ministries, that mindset is still there. Oh, yeah. Right. That needs to be broken yes. by God. Yes. And we yeah. declare and decree whoever's watching that, in, that mindset has got to go. Yes. Because that resurrection power is moving in such a way yes. right now. Hallelujah. Yesterday, today, and forever. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. It is really awesome. It's an exceeding great army. You know, when we think of David going against a giant, well, there are several Davids here. There are several Davids, even more Davids watching right now, that can go against those giants. Yes. Yes, thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And it's one of the things as I go into different settings, different groups, the ministries and all, that God showed me about this ministry and it showed me in certain areas that there's and there's a willingness, there's a blessing. Here's such a big blessing that you've engaged into the middle of the word. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Because it's been there's many out there that are still going round and round with the milk of the word. Yes. Oh hallelujah. Oh praise be to God. Praise be to God for everything that is doing and continues to do in such a way. Can this both live? Yes. Oh, yes, they I'll can. Those situations are going to be brought down every day in the mighty name of Jesus. If we continue to intercede, 
for the city, the nation, all nations, even for churches, mm -hmm. even for ministers yeah. that have gotten stagnant. A little message of bloody God where all these concepts, mm -hmm. oh, they sound so beautiful. <laughs> all these concepts are up here. <laughs> Psychology, oh. one of the big ones, intellectualism. Oh, boy. All these concepts, mm. and everybody's so comfortable with that. Mm. And the power of God is right here. They, they want to keep the Spirit of God down here because all these concepts are way up here. Oh, yeah. And people are so in tune with that. Mm. Then they start heading out the door. It seems like they've got an empty feeling. <laughs> because the Spirit of God oh, yeah. is knitted. Mm -hmm. The Holy Spirit to be moving in such a way. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. From the book of 2 Chronicles 7, 14. Oh, yeah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, yeah. The book of 2 Chronicles yes. chapter 7 and verse 14. Yes. Now we come to that opportunity. Now we come to that that grand opportunity for many out there. Yeah. Second Chronicles seven fourteen. Mm -hmm. If yeah. my people who shall call by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face yeah. and turn from their wicked ways, yeah. then will I hear from heaven yeah. and will forgive their sin and will heal their land, their homes, their churches, their businesses, whatever it is that is healing individually or corporately. Hallelujah. The big if now comes. All the big bright lights are on us. If my yeah. people yeah. which are called by my name. Yes. Remember one thing that there's no other name that's but right. the name of Jesus. Amen. Everything else, all these isms, all these opinions that are well, you know, is not going to work. That's right. It has never worked and it never will. Never will. Because we are dealing with a living God. That's right. We are dealing with a red that Jesus Christ with a resurrection power. Amen. That he is moving in such a way. Yeah. If my people which are called by my name shall yes. humble themselves. Uh-huh. And pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Yes. How powerful. There's a repentance. Yes. There's a, you know, that we have to come into that area of thinking that anything that is producing a certain pride out there, what are they going to say if I show up at church? Mm. What are they going to say if I change? This is what I tell the men at the jail. There's going to be many out there that are going to say, what got into you? Uh -huh. Well, that's all right. Uh -huh. That's all right, the power of the living God. Amen. And it says right here in verse 15, Now my eyes shall be open, yes. and my ears attend yes. unto the prayer yes. that is made in this Amen. place. Amen. See, now all that was there, all these opinions, all these ideas, all these distractions, and all over there. That's right. My eyes shall be open, yes. and my ears attend unto the prayer that is made in this place. Amen. For now have I chosen and sanctified this house. Yes. That is very powerful. That our lives be sanctified. Yes. That our homes be sanctified. Yes. That our families be sanctified. Yes. Because He's a holy God. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. He said, now I have chosen and sanctified this house that my name may be there forever. And my eyes and my heart shall be there perpetually. Amen. Isn't that powerful that he's there? Yes. Remember that he is our Jehovah Rapha, our healer. Yes. That he is omnipotent God of all power. Yes. And he is the omniscient God. He understands and He knows everything and He yes. is omnipresent. Yes, He is. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The moment that we limit God and we set Him in a certain box, well, it's religion. We can, that's the traditions of man. Now, don't get you stirred up. Now, don't get you stirred up. You're getting, you're jumping up and down. You're saying hallelujah. And you're casting out a spirit. Well, why not? This person needs to be delivered. Yes. This will be delivered from the strongholds of Satan in the name of Jesus. Amen. And it says in 16, For now have I chosen and sanctified yes. this house. See, there's a transition when the power of God is moving. Yes. There's a breaking down yes. from all those ideas, all those traditions, mm -hmm. that I may be there forever in my eyes and my heart shall be there perpetually. Yes. And then in verse 19, there's the other side of it. Uh -huh. 
when there is an undecisiveness or that rebellion, but if you turn away and forsake my statutes and my commandments, which I have set before you, and shall go and serve other gods and worship them. Amen. And those that are listening to them, because you have other, there's other gods that people think are alive, and they've got them yeah. here, they've got them there, they've got them all sorts of, yes. you know, of wood and brass and, and gold and, and everything else. Mm -hmm. Even self mm -hmm. can oh, be yeah. made a god. Oh, there's a strong obsession. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The New Age movement teaches that, that you're at the center of it. Oh, well, that's a lie from the pit of hell. That's right. Because there is only one God. But if you turn away and forsake my statutes mm -hmm. and my commandments, which I have set before you, mm -hmm. and you shall go and serve other gods mm -hmm. and worship them, then will I pluck them out by the roots out of my land, which I have given them, mm -hmm. and this house, which I have sanctified for my name, mm -hmm. will I cast out of my sight, and I will make it to be a proverb and a byword mm. among all nations. Oh boy. Mm. Now we've been put in the lower shelf here. That's what tends to happen. Well, we, you know, it's, it's, it, things start to happen. It says in verse 21, and in this, and this house, which is high, shall be an astonishment oh. to everyone that passeth by it, mm. so that he shall say, Why hath the Lord done this unto this land and unto this house. Mm. Well, if he doesn't conform to God's will, whether the home, whether the church, whether individually or corporately, there are some consequences here that I gotta be good. <laughs> and this might be like, oh my God, what has happened over there? People are like, oh my God. Well, rejection and rebellion is going to bring oh, consequences. Yeah. yeah. The moment that we won the best of both worlds, and you know, right now we got to, and never going to work it, that, you know, the harvest is ready. Uh huh. It's just, and it's really, really powerful. And this house, which is, which is high, shall be an astonishment to everyone that passes by it. There's a tearing down that they didn't even wish he could do. Yeah. But if we don't allow him to do it, if we just allow the Spirit of God to come forth consistently, mm -hmm. no matter what they say, oh man, he's just, you know, talking God every day, and he's allowing <laughs> the Spirit to move every day. Yeah, what what yeah. did I do to him? I thought he was just in Sundays. <laughs> well, no, it ain't not about no. Sunday. This is about a relationship. Yes. And because when you engage in a relationship, uh -huh. when you're in a covenant relationship like marriage, do you just see your wife on Sunday? Yeah. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. This is every day. This is every day. Hallelujah. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. The book of Mark, chapter 16. Praise God. The book of Mark in chapter 16. God is moving in such a way that, you know, there's that deliverance that is coming. Yes. Every day. Hallelujah. Mark in chapter 16 and verse 15. Oh, praise God. Amen. Praise God for him. He's moving in such a way yes. because he's come to set the camps free. The word of God in 16 and verse 14. Afterward, he appeared unto the eleven as they said it in me and upbraided them with their unbelief and hardness of heart. Because they believed not them which had seen him after he was risen. Yeah. And it's sad that we got a generation out there that said, oh, well, it's a thing of the past. Yeah. Uh -huh. There's this, this generation out there, they're still looking at, well, he was crucified and that's it. Uh -huh. But not looking beyond that about the resurrection power mm -hmm. and through the life of the yeah. spirit that comes in us as well yeah. we allow him. Yeah. To resurrect those things that seem hopeless in our lives or in our families. Mm -hmm. How beautiful and how yeah. powerful. Verse yeah. 15 says, And he said unto them, yeah. Go ye into all the, all world, the world and preach the gospel to every Amen. creature. Thank you, Lord. Verse 16 he says, He that believeth uh -huh. and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall be damned. That's Verse right. 17. And these signs shall follow them that believe. In yeah. my name shall they cast out devils. And they shall speak with new tongues. 
They shall take up serpents and either drink any deadly thing that he shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick and they shall be covered. Amen. And I've gone into group settings and to people that, you know, look at you like, well, let me tell you one thing. God is delivering every day. He's delivering people out of demonic oppression. He is healing every day. And there's people that are being filled with the Lord, with the Spirit of God, yeah. and speaking in new tongues. Mm -hmm. There has to be the emphasis in the Spirit. Yes. Mm -hmm. There has to be the richness of the Holy Spirit yeah. to bring life. To bring resurrection power. If not, he thinks you're just going to come back stagnant and you just go back to the milk. Uh -huh. And that shouldn't be. That shouldn't be because the word it will start to flow with the spirit. And if we have this results that are going to be so beautiful and so powerful. So I got family. I got friends that need to be delivered. Yeah. I've been yeah. talking to them. Oh, I've been yeah. ministering to them. Mm -hmm. And there's and I can see God has shown me this areas in their lives. Then if they heal in any deliverance, yes. they have that mindset, that addiction that is here, that stronghold. Mm -hmm. That's why it is important that, that they shall know the power of the living God. Amen. Today and tomorrow and every day. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. You, oh, hallelujah. He is moving in, in such a way. And all of us that, you know, it's just like, oh my God, you know, it's a... You know, those things that are going to be turned on today and turned on tomorrow. And, and there's something, you know, as the word says, beauty for ashes. Yes. The oil of joy for mourning and the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. Love it. We, don't, we, we don't want to get stuck in the, with the spirit of heaviness. No, no. We don't want to be stuck in those areas that are, you know, just hurtful and That's you know, right. depressing. And we got a generation out there that is calling defeat. Mm. And he said to so they say it's not the case. I've talked to people left and right. I since I discern other people that are very receptive in the jail, many that are out there too. Then you have a, a stiff neck society as well. Oh, that are going off like well, oh, yeah. and, you know, a certain pride, mm -hmm. a certain accomplishment. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, there's no life in the spirit. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, there's not even a relationship. Mm -hmm. Because maybe perhaps they just believe. But they were told, but they actually didn't live for him. Mm -hmm. And this is really, really something, you know. I just, uh, you know, I said, God, show me. And as I was in prayer, and as the Lord, show me. Where are you taking me here, you know? Because there has to be a transition. Mm -hmm. Because if there's no transition, if there's no coming out of bondage, like I mentioned last time, we're still jumping on that old camel and heading back to Egypt. <laughs> After church closes on Sunday, oh, yeah. it ain't gonna work. That's right. It says not gonna work. It never will. Those traditions, mm. those certain settings mm -hmm. that are keeping people in that mindset. Yeah. And it's sad because if we call on God, if we pray and fast, if we allow the Spirit to move. It's like, oh my God, mm -hmm. everything starts to move from death to life. Mm -hmm. The deadness that we see in many. Mm -hmm. The deadness that, you know, it's just like yeah. I can't handle this no more and I don't, so don't tell me about religion. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm not telling you about religion. Oh, let me tell you about, let me tell you about the power of God. Yes, yes. Let me tell you about the living God. Amen. And many Woo. went through this celebration and last Sunday and everything was beautiful but many try to portray it differently. But it's, it's deeper than that. There's a resurrection power. Yes. yes. We're dealing with a living God. Amen. We are, you know, we have our Lord teach us. Empower us with your spirit, oh God. Yeah. Breathe in us. Mm. That ruah. Mm. That spirit, that wind. Transform our minds, oh God, in every way. Yes, thank you, Lord. There's a great need out there. Yes, there we is. got family. We love our families. We love our friends. We, you know, we need to reach out even greater mm -hmm. to those people that are hurting, because a lot of them are still in that thinking. Like, it, I guess it's my life. I guess that's it. That's not it. Unless you're believing the enemy, mm -hmm. and his strategy is to steal that purpose mm. and throw you in that corner. Oh my gosh. Mm. Praise God that we believe. Yes. 
And we decide to live for him. We declare and decree the spirit of the living God. Amen. The Holy Spirit, if we have to pray and fast, I personally like to do a fast at times from 7 to 7, or I'll go up to my, you know, and it says, Lord, teach me, reveal to me. Mm -hmm. We open ourselves yes. to him even more. More, we, he takes us in depth into the richness of the Holy Spirit. Yes, thank you, Lord. Very important mm -hmm. that, you know, we, this message that now they shall know the power of the living God because there's another side to it. And they shall receive the blessings of the living God. Yes. Where there was opinion, where there was humiliation, you know, we can see the blessings flow in our lives, in health. Yeah. And in love and in prosperity, whatever it is. Yes. Because He knows every need, even the desires of our heart. We just praise God. We just ask this day and every day to breathe life into this valley of dry bones that's out there. Thank you, Lord. From Martha to all pine to all over the state and all over the nation. Yes. We are people that are hurting. Yes. But if we just lift up our hands and pray, God, deliver your people. Yeah. Tear down the strongholds yes. of oppression. Breathe your Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Help us to move from that ordinary way of thinking to the extraordinary Thinking outside the box. Yes. Not to get so boxed in with the isms, with the lies of the enemy. Mm -hmm. And it's time to be blessed, to be a blessing that we overflow in the spirit of the living yes. God. Thank you, Lord. I'll tell you, this is something, yes, there's a time that we start with the milk of the word, but we're growing up and we go to Sunday school, a lot of teachings, and that's beautiful. We never stop learning. But then there's a time to move on to the meat. Yes. To be strong and Amen. to go, to be empowered by the Spirit and to go against those giants today and tomorrow mm -hmm. and all week long. Yeah. And I'll tell you one thing as a personal testimony, as a single parent raising two girls and, a, and, and growing up in a, in a denominational setting, in an area of thinking that was just believing, mm -hmm. I could see myself that I needed something mm -hmm. more than that. Amen. I needed the life of the yeah. Spirit. The Holy Spirit, power of God, the resurrection power in my home, and to be able to persevere throughout and raise those two girls. Yes. And continue on in ministry. And I give Him the glory and the honor for everything. And that's what we wish and pray for everybody. Yes. That He doesn't stop there. He doesn't stop in the in the membership. He doesn't start to stop in the certain denominational membership or this or that. It's much more powerful than that that the Holy Spirit will move in such a powerful way mm -hmm. every day yeah. and I praise God that each, one thing I can say there's several here and several that are watching that will know that power mm -hmm. and it is time that you reach out that you yes. hunger for that yes. power yes. because it is impossible to go against those giants mm -hmm. It is impossible to engage in warfare yeah. without that power That's of the right. Holy Spirit. Amen. We just praise God that this transition has to happen. Yes. Away from tradition. Yeah. Away from that mindset that got many complacent. Yeah. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's all right to say hallelujah. 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 Yeah. It's all right God. to allow the Spirit hallelujah. of God to move yes. through the highways and hedges. Yes, 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 yes. Thank and that many that are in the demonic oppression right now to be set free yes. by the power of the living God. Yes. That everything that is a spirit of darkness over this area be broken mm -hmm. and come into submission to the yes. power of the living God. Yes. Over Marvin Alpine and all over the nation. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Praise be to God for everything. Remember that. And these signs shall follow them that believe. Yes. When nothing's happening, when everything is shut down completely, mm. makes you wonder. Mm. But we shut the door to the power of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Makes me makes us all wonder. It's like, oh my God, because there is a gun so theological with no spirit. Mm. Hallelujah! I've sat with people that have been they're studying differently in different group settings, and seems like they pile up a lot of ammunition, mm. but they don't believe in. Engaging in warfare, mm -hmm. there's no reaching out. Mm -hmm. 
only through the Holy Spirit are we be able to go beyond that in love and compassion and in authority. Hallelujah. I'm going to thank you this morning, this day, because, you know, God is moving in such a way, not just inside the jail, through the highways and hedges. He's moving in each and every one of us. Yes, yes. He's setting the captives free. He's restoring us of all this hurt that we've gone through because He's going to take this power of the living God to Yes. That we be saturated by the Spirit of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God for everything. And hallelujah. We that you breathe in us, Holy Spirit, yes. for such a time as this. Hallelujah. You know, he want, he would, the enemy would want to keep us like... Uh, Raggedy Andy or whatever, just mm. it's not gonna happen. We're gonna be alive in the spirit, praise God. Hallelujah. Empowered by the Spirit. God bless each and every one. We pray for one another. We pray for the nation and all nations that God would have his way. It would breathe life yes. into those areas. Hallelujah. But in the life of the spirit. Keep the camera rolling. Hallelujah. Okay. Brother Oscar, if you could pray for those that are watching yes at this moment we're going to pray for those that are listening that are watching this message right now there's something that you have struggled with there's something that brought you to an area of comfort or a certain mindset certain opinions that is not producing an area that has become a stronghold mm -hmm. an area that has gotten complacent and has you in an area of defeat it is time to break out of that. He calls for submission. There are those ideas that have kept you and just the milk of the word as well. But it is time to move on into another level, into the meat of the word. Let us pray that the power of the Holy Spirit would breathe life into those that are watching, into ministries, and even to the leadership in governments, into families into everyone individually and corporately. Let us pray. Almighty God, breathe on us your Holy Spirit. Yes, you, your resurrection power. Yes. Breathe life into the valley of dry bones. Right. Into those situations in hospitals, in nursing homes, in marriages, in the highways and hedges, and even in churches that have come to a screeching halt because of tradition. Because of opinion, because of the work of the enemy, because of the stumbling blocks, in the mighty name of Jesus, breathe life, yes. your Holy Spirit, O oh God, and set the captives free. We call on you for healing, for restoration, yes. for deliverance. Yes. We call on you for anointing like fresh fire in your apostles, your prophets, your teachers, your evangelists, your missionaries, and your pastors. Yes. Breathe on us, Holy Spirit, yes. to deliver your word like a double-edged sword for such a time as this. That to go against the giants, O oh God, we call on you for revival yes. because you are the living God all over the city, all over the nation, and all nations. Hallelujah. Because you are the risen Christ. Yes. We pray because we believe yes. and we live for you. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen and amen. 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 Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Hallelujah. God bless Hallelujah. everyone. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. For, and if there's anybody that needs prayer, and I need prayer too. I